welcome back to my channel it's me Chloe hey I hope you're having a great day and today we're gonna carry on with the spring crafts it's spring crafts part two and we are going to be doing this shrink magic from SES creative so yeah this should be really fun and also I have a bunny sun catcher to do so let's get going and jump into the video with spring crafts part two Okay, time to open up the box. And here's the shrink plastic, ready to go. And you can see the bell jar parts as well. And we've also got these coloring pencils, which I found to be perfect for the job. So if you buy the kit, I would use those, they were great. First thing I discovered was the pictures are much bigger than the shrink plastic. <laughs> so I maybe I overcompensated, I don't know, but I decided to photocopy them lay them out to work out where they were all going to go so that I could fit them in the shrink plastic and then I just stuck down the pictures on a piece of paper so that I had a reference and then we're on to tracing out and to start with I did actually put a piece of paper underneath my hand so that I didn't transfer any oils or anything from my hand onto the shrink plastic and you just have to carefully outline the shape I did mine in blue to start with Although, in the end, I went over them in black, so I thought maybe it would show, but in actual fact, you can cut the black off, so I wouldn't worry. And the magic starts here. I started with the tree. And then we have our first shape, and I'm just cutting out the tree now. Way Onto the snail. And it actually took a lot of time doing this, but um, I didn't want to bore you with it all, so <laughs> I've sped it all up. But it was really fun, because they're so cute. And I took a lot of care about it, because I didn't really know how much you had to fill the space to make sure that all the colour was really vibrant. In actual fact, I think it's probably quite forgiving, um, because it shrinks so much. But still, it's worth doing a nice job, isn't it? Sometimes you have to check the colour on your hand just to make sure that you've filled all the areas. So yeah, you can see it made me happy because there I was humming away to myself as I did it. So it was really fun to do, definitely enjoyed it. I think by the time I did the fairy space actually I'd got a bit tired so I would recommend don't do these when you're tired. Like, if you start to get tired, have a break. Let's do the bunny! And we're hey! It's all finished. Probably took about two hours to do all of that. It was a lot of work. Now we're ready to go into the oven. Let's watch the magic happen. Oh, I love it when it does this. So it all crinkles up as it shrinks and you have to wait for it to flatten out again. So if you take it out too early, it won't flatten out properly. So just believe and wait for it to all flatten down. Then you want to put it under a big book. I used Kiki's delivery service for luck. And we're, hey, we've got our little shapes and it worked. They're all nicely flattened out. So now it's time to arrange these shapes in the bell jar. And honestly, this was so fiddly, you will see. making good progress at the moment. Oh, trying on the top. Oh, I knocked one out. <laughs> Let's start again. Oh, I knocked it out again. And again. <laughs> does it go in? Uh, it goes in this one. Mm. 
Oh, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. Oh no, I've looked so out again. Honestly, the only way to do it is to push all that grass that you decorated right down. So forget about seeing the grass. You're only going to see the top of the grass, push them firmly down inside, which took me quite a few tries to work that out. <laughs> Finally, put the little snail in. Done it! And push the top of the bell jar down. So then I decided to do it this way because I've tried the other way and it wasn't very successful. So if you move the circle of the base like this, then it's easier to put the grass sticker onto it. And then I kind of just pushed it around till I could get the bell jar inside and used a pencil when some of it got stuck in the wrong place just to move it out of the way. And then you just push it in a bit to stick the top of the bell jar to the bottom, to the base. Then there's lots of stickers in the pack, actually I didn't use a lot of them, I just wanted to use a few around the bottom. But there are more flowers so you can go crazy with the flowers, there's also butterflies if you want to put them on. But I liked it this way. Wahey! Fairy tale complete! And I'm super happy with that, it came out beautiful. Looks really nice in the sunlight. So, onto a bunny sun catcher! Time to get painting. This also took me a long time. I think I just take a long time with things because I'm being careful. But yeah, this took me a very long time and I was extremely careful with it all. time to start putting on some white and I got a little bit worried immediately that I started the white actually because it's such a massive area and I'd been putting the paint on quite thickly and yeah there wasn't enough white paint not at all here's me trying to spread it out and wondering what on earth I'm gonna do but yeah just not enough which you will soon see Look what happens when I put a piece of pink underneath. Oh my goodness, what an absolute mess. <laughs> so all the care I'd taken on the first part. And then, yeah, this is where I made the mistake. I should have just walked away at that point because I was a bit frustrated. But no, I jumped straight in with some acrylic paint, which is obviously opaque. And so I just made a right mess over everything that I had just taken all that care on. So yeah, look at that mess now. Complete mess. <laughs> so finally I did walk away. Look at these beautiful flowers my daughter gave me. Really pretty. And this is the next day I'd actually looked up what I should have done, which is I should have mixed PVA glue with a little bit of white acrylic paint and also water until you get the right consistency. So if you do run out of paint, that's what you should do. Um, and then I just added lots of glitter on the top because why not? So it's finally time to reveal the finished product of everything! Woohoo! So, starting off with the bunny sun catcher. This is how it turned out. I hope you can see the sparkles. It's actually super sparkly and glittery, which I love. Obviously, as a sun catcher, <laughs> it didn't work so well. <laughs> Never mind, it's still beautiful and glittery, so I'm going to put it up anyway. <laughs> then we're onto this little domed 
decoration that we made using the shrink plastic. I hope you can see it's actually really difficult to get a close view because of the reflections. But yes, I think that came out super pretty. With the little figures inside. And it looks lovely in the sunlight. So I'm super happy with that. Even though it took ages and ages and ages. But yes, super pretty. And here's my favourite, the bunny! Obviously my favourite, it's so, so, so cute! Also took a long time to make, but yes, I love it. Very, very cute. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments which one was your favourite, what you enjoyed watching the most, and hopefully see you again soon for some more crafting. Have a lovely day! Bye!